Perfect. Hello. When the 
death was a rest and my life began Ash was redeemed only beauty remains My orphan heart was given My morning grew quiet at my feet I rose to dance When death was a rest I'm a prisoner no more My shame was a rest on these days we He canceled my death He called me his friend When death was a rest And in my life began Oh, oh your grace So free Washes up
is above, his name is above depression. His name is above loneliness. Oh, his name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above everything.
part of the oldest living process. Follow all my knees and cry. 
Yeah, Lord. 
Thank you. 
done many times in the life. I'm telling you, my the moon day. Hi, I'm Sophia Vergara. Please join me and send you Children's Research Hospital to help save the lives of children with cancer and other life-threatening diseases. When we come together, nothing is impossible. Thanks to your support, families never receive a bill from San Jude for anything. Give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. To donate, call 800 for St. Jude. That's 800-478-5833. Or visit stjude.org. Time for my workout. Sports. Brunches.
Nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can come. 
Amen. 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 Oh, 
worship and your chosen I am tired of chasing pretty rainbow Mercy. 
sharing a memory of my brother serving in the Lord many years in the Good Samaritan. No, I'm related to Palau, but I met Lina first, and we became sisters. She became my mentor. And I love this guy so much. He became a closer brother to me. Serving in the, the Lord with him taught me a lot when he finally gave his life and his heart to the Lord. And we started to work together in a music ministry. And this guy, he's a loving, giving guy. With everything I watch him, he gave to the work, into the ministry. He do it heartily. With everything that he has, he will give. And that's something that I will take and I will cherish for my brother. It's his giving heart. And when Falao does something for the Lord, he gives his best. The way he dressed up, that's the way he does things for the Lord. He gives his best. And that's something that I will cherish in my life that he left and I will cherish that with my walk in my times serving the Lord on earth I love you brother and I know my sister Lena she's a prayer warrior she's a strong woman of God but in times like this I know that we all need a shoulder to cry on and we're here for you sister here for you to lift you up and we'll continue to pray for the Lord to comfort your heart and the children at this time and I know that my brother will not going to hear anything that we say but this time I know God has made this time an opportunity for all of us families, friends and loved ones to come again. That we can be able to minister to one another. We have to be mindful of the time that we're living in. These are the last days that we're living. My encouragement, families, let fall out going away to bring us together. A reminder to someone that is far away from the Lord. Make this time to come back while there is life in you. Death has no respect of us. But God has promised us life and life abundantly. And this is the time to give our life to God while we have breath in us. So I encourage all of us, someone that is here under the sound of my voice, this is the time to give your life to God. While well, there is a chance, because we want to make it there to where Falao go. He's not coming back, but it is up to us to go there where he's at. So may God bless you. Be encouraged. Be cheerful. That God is still alive. Amen. I love you all, families, friends, loved ones that are here with us today. I love you all. I wasn't gonna say something, but my heart said I need to. Um, and for now, I know that I always, I'm an outspoken person that I say what I feel. And he just laughs at me when I speak things. I'm not crying because you're gone.
because I will see you. I will see you. But in your service, when we were past you never gave up. You were always there. You were one of the backbones of my husband. And I always relied on you and your wife. But I know you're in a better place. All this crying and all these things that we're going through in life. Thank God you're going to see God first, Jesus first, and we're right behind you whenever the day comes. I love you, brother. I love you. Thank you for being the man. You came through a lot of things, trials and tribulations. I've seen it. And now you're going to go home and meet our maker. I'm waiting for that day. And I will see you. Thank you for making a lot of fun on me, saying a lot of silly things about me. But you don't know that I have more love than everybody that see you. So I wait for that day when I see you, you're going to hear it from me. I didn't want to say nothing while we're down in this earth because I'll fail. But I will see you. My husband said, to shake your hand, I said, no, I'm going to kiss him. Even if he's dead, I'm going to kiss him. So I love you and thank you. You serve under the leadership of Asafo. And vanilla, like in ice cream, I'm as sweet as that. So have a safe trip. Don't think about Dina. Dina can make it for a while. I'm glad you're going first. And my sister is back here. So there's always a mission that we have is never ended. And we'll continue. And thank you for being part of our, our family and my life. Because you took me through a lot of things through my sister. And I even said things that I didn't like about you. <laughs> I even cussed at God at you. I was cussing. But I know you forgive me because I was angry with what you do. How you treat my sister. But thank you. You know what? Thank God for his mercy and his grace that is so sufficient for all of us. And no matter if you were mean to Lena and didn't respect her, but look at that. You're gone first. Amen. <laughs> I love you, brother. I'll see you. And may God bless your journey as you meet him, your maker. In Jesus, I speak this afternoon. I love you. We're gonna sing this last song. Um, this is a song that Uncle Falau used to make me sing over and over to where I did not like the song anymore. <laughs> but I'm gonna sing it. Thank you so much 
final time. What I told you, I'm not a
great honor unto you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Love your family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 This is yes. not our home. This is only a right place now. to train us yes. to make sure that we're going to make it there. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Go with God today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lomi, for your Are you good? Enduring. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
You are home. 
Amen. God is here with us. Amen. So I thank God for uh, today and our family. I thank you all for coming and participating in uh, our brother's uh, going away. Amen. Or celebration. So by this time, I just want to thank Lena and her children. I thank you all for preparing everything in this place. It's really nice and beautiful. Everything. And I thank God for you guys, for all that you have done for Fuala Ari. And I thank God for Charles and his wife and his children for helping out. Uh, may the Lord bless you all. And I know God will uh, add more and more to, you, to your wallet. Amen. Everything that you have done, God's going to multiply it. Amen. So I thank God for this because I know our whole family are here. So we just want to say our thanks to you all for, for everything. It's beautiful to me. I am so overwhelmed and uh, thankful for everything that I see. It's beautiful. So I just want to take this time to thank Lena and the children and the grandkids and everybody for everything that you have done. You have made, uh, did a good job, great job. Amen. And I know God will be with you guys. My nieces that uh, came from other state, I thank you all for coming and being here with us. Amen. I know Paul is not dead. He's alive. He's still alive in heaven with Jesus. Amen. So let's be happy and get yourself ready and prepare to meet the maker. Amen. Because God is waiting for all of us. So you got to just get yourself prepared for the coming of Jesus. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm saying this for my brothers and my sisters to thank you, Lena. We can never say enough to thank you and your children. So uh, may the Lord bless until the time we go and put his uh, body down. Amen. But uh, this time I don't know if, because we are getting ready to take Father out right now. So may the Lord bless each and every one of you. And God bless. Amen. Hello. So uh, one of the things that was requested by my mom is for the last maybe 15 minutes, if it could just be her and her children. Um, and the obedience that would be truly appreciated from from all of us to so you guys. We hope that everyone enjoyed um, the celebration. We're almost done, but we know that we do have food out back. We need to grab some food. Um, thank you. Thank you all so much. We love you guys, and uh, thank you for just giving mom this time with our kids. Thank you. Thank you. 
guys, can you guys see your farewell? Say your farewell to your church. Just out of here. your cars right now. All in 30, can you remember on this up yeah. in 30? Right. So all of you guys that are going, get in your cars, please. Your car. And come right behind the hearse. It's in the back of the building. Okay. Jesus Christ, 
Yeah. Mommy said um, to hurry up because we're leaving. Right now. Uh, babe. Honey. Hey, walk, walk, walk. Just, I have to pack up my, my stuff. It is no time for me to come over there. I'm going to wait. Hello. I I got a lot of stuff to pack. Yeah. Charles is carrying it right now. Oh, 